Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator, and uh, we are on Earthshot Prize Week. And um, tonight's video, we're going to talk about this um, thing, Ali. Yeah, <laughs> not too happy with Ali Peralt right now. Peralt, and uh, a 15 year old climate activist, you know, who's been leading the youth climate leadership program since she was 11. And now she's the founder of Youth Climate Action Now. Now, all of these youth are absolute complete idiots. None of them have solutions. Um, none of them are interested in solutions when you present solutions to them. And so after this big event, I, um, yes, I did. I got in contact with um, Ali. I, I emailed her parents' farm, which is... Looks like this very nice farm here, and um, they they are voted a winner of the best local farm for 14 years in a row. Well, it doesn't mean they're quality people, and we'll get into that. And so, um, you know, I said I'd like to um, interview Ollie later today. Now, I emailed her parents' farm. Now, the Ollie on that distribution, I don't know, it didn't come back to me. I did Ollie at her website here. But it didn't come back to me. Apparently, this is her email. She replied to me from her parents' email. And she was like, uh, thanks for reaching out, exclamation point. Hi, Eileen. You know, it's a young kid. A freaking idiot. And be like, oh, my God, like a little gnat. Like, just go away. Just just take all your ridiculous, think you know th something, and just go away. But um, I was like, th thanks so much. She was like, thanks so much for reaching out. She'd be happy to speak um, with me about her work with Climate Action, as well as the award last week at the Celtics home game. <laughs> her availability uh, is, is pretty stretched, but she's free, you know. So uh, we scheduled a time. And um, so I called her yesterday. And um, <laughs> it, it was kind of pretty interesting. She uh, she was like, so uh, now I don't know if she looked up my name or whatnot, but, you know, environmental educator. She was like, no, so what do you think is going to come out of this? And I'm like, well, you know, I have the light year's best environmental education and agenda the world needs that you cry out for. Now, let's listen to um, Allie crying out about, you know, how things need to be done. This is a News 10 Boston uh, interview here. So oh, here we go hours before the start of yesterday's Celtics game, what she told that she would be getting a royal recognition. She got a standing ovation at Wednesday's Celtics game and recognition by the Prince and Princess of Wales for her action on climate change. I was pretty overwhelmed in the moment. The Hero Among Us Award was a culmination of years in which 15-year-old Ollie Peralt has been raising awareness about the urgent action needed to stop the damage to the environment. Having grown up in her family farm in western Massachusetts, the East Hampton teen has witnessed firsthand the impact of climate change. We've been experiencing extreme rainfall, record-breaking droughts, extreme storm damage, and from a pretty young age, I knew that I needed to find a way to make a difference. At age 11, she began volunteering at local climate advocacy groups. Then a year ago, she decided to form her own and launched Youth Climate Action Now. She's rallying young people as a force for change. We're angry that people aren't acting fast enough. We're angry that there are still so many people out there ignoring the science. We are angry that generations before us let it get this bad. And in my experience, that anger is incredibly powerful. Her goal is to influence climate policy at both the private and public sectors. Reduce, reuse, recycle, that's no longer enough. We need a radical solution to a crisis of this level. And young people are really encouraging our leaders to think bigger. We are highlighting that need for a system change. Okay, now that, that's a lot of hoopla and a lot of ridiculousness. Um, you know, she said that she they're mad, you know, that past generations have left them with this huge problem and that no one's acting fast enough. Um, and when put to the test, Ali has no interest in acting at all. Okay, oh, oh, she knows, she knows reduce, reuse, recycle isn't enough. Well, see, Ali is is not very bright 
because we're not doing reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay, that is that is um, the number one thing that we need. Reduce by reusing, ending our disposable society, you know, gaining people's cooperation, turning off electricity. Like she has nothing in her website, nothing <laughs> about like real action, just like meetings of like things and what you can do. It's all ridiculous. Climate justice, <laughs> you know, right. There's like, what, what is racism and white supremacy, which don't even exist? Um, have to do with the environment, nothing. But, you know, like she's she's paid attention to Oasis Crazy and she's out there, you know, spewing communist ridiculousness. Okay. Girl is a fool. And as we have been discussing this week, you don't get a recognition from the Earthshot Prize if you're doing anything of value. Uh, okay. And if reduce, we use, recycle isn't big enough. Um, what is she, assistant change? She doesn't have it, but she's throwing out big words. You know, she's like, I'm an activist. She's even when she talks to me, I'm an activist. You know, I'm like, activists are idiots. Okay. <laughs> activists are complete fools. It's really easy to get on a bandwagon. Okay. Even if you're the head cheerleader, which she is on this bandwagon of a bunch of people that will never achieve anything, walking around with signs while they're refusing to get actual real solutions implemented and and they're encouraging their leaders now she wants private sector um you know participation but i'm like hey you know you could use your voice to tell td garden like wow man i, I can't believe the earthshot prize and the kennedys and the boston mayor didn't get you to say you were leading leading with reusable stadium concessions but you know what we need that she could make that happen now can i make it happen well, it's not like I don't try. Uh, here, I've been emailing, emailing this person, uh, Karen Kelly at CD Garden. She is the um, corporate sponsorship, corporate partnership person. And I let her know that, you know, what what a disgrace uh, that little event with um, Ollie Center Court is. She got a standing ovation because, oh, my God, she wants solutions. And then when solutions like the world needs, are put in her face where she can actually do something other than the absolute nothing. I told her, I'm like, listen, your work is not worth the pollution you spend driving to your stupid meetings. Okay. This, this is never going to achieve anything. They're idiots. Activists are idiots who have no solutions and they demand that someone else come up with a solution. And then the worst activists are, right, oh, be the change. But now when you tell Ali, Ali, like, Ali, be the change, you know, be the, be the leader, get the private, get the private partnership, you know, no, no, she, she won't do it. She has no interest. What does she do? Um, well, here, when, when she was supposed to call me at 6 o'clock this morning, um, here she is at 5.58, and I found out about this because I knew she wasn't going to call. And so I called her at 6.01, and I left a message telling her what a fool she is and, you know, how how just close your doors. You're, you're refusing the light years best. <laughs> just you're valueless. Just close your doors. And you know what? Quality people do what they say they're going to do. When they say they're going to call you at a certain time, they call you. And what does this chump do? Um, two minutes before she's supposed to call you, uh, I'm sorry. It turns out I will not be able to speak with you this morning due to some logistical difficulties on her end. <laughs> logistical difficulties equals I'm an activist. We don't do solutions. I'm telling you, when I talked to her, she was just like the notion of solutions. <laughs> was just maybe maybe had her as a deer in the headlights kind of. And she's like, well, you know, me and my friends. And, and if you say that they won't achieve, which they won't, you know, I work with them. So I'm like, well, maybe you should work with somebody new. Like maybe you could work with somebody that could actually achieve what everybody wants achieved. 
which you and your dimwit friends never will. Okay, but but she told me <laughs> a little fifteen year old <laughs> telling me. But feel free to shoot me an email if you would like to try and reschedule. Now I found out she sent me this text because when I called her at um six o one, and I left a message that I didn't finish, and so I was calling to finish it, and um. Her dad picked up the second time. Who is this? I'm like, uh, the person who has the late year's best environmental education and agenda the world needs, kids are screaming for, your daughter wants. You know, I mean, he, he was just, he, he was not very friendly. That, but he was there to pick up the phone. Okay, she wasn't, but he's, and it was ridiculous. Like, dad was there to protect her. Oh, my God. Somebody's giving my daughter the solutions. She makes a spectacle out of herself demanding, and we better shut this lady down. And then at the end, he he said something like, who said that's a problem? And I was like, who said what? what's a problem? Like, and And I was ready to be like the environment, like your daughter. But what did he do? Oh, that's right. He hung up on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This guy here, this guy here protecting his little idiot daughter. Okay. Look at her. What a twit. What a twit. She's just, she's embarrassing. But yeah, this guy right here hung up on me. And so what did I do? Well, I, I sent them a little email tonight. I'm sure they love me. I'm like, Ollie's parents, quality people, parents, insist kids lead with light years best, not you. And I said, you know, if I had refused to use my voice to get the solutions I seek implemented, my parents would have demanded TD Garden bring me back for another halftime hoopla where they made me turn in my not deserved award and come clean with the crowd that I was a preventing solutions fraud. <laughs> you know, and and I tell I tell T D Center they need to do that. And Holly's not going to go back. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. That snowflake, this little communist here, she's 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 not going back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, no, that that that, that would not be good. But but that doesn't mean that um, the TD Garden doesn't need to, need to make an announcement. And the crowd can boo her whether she's there or not. And she can have a mental breakdown at home, even not being there. <laughs> but she deserves to stand there and have that crowd boo her, right? She could go to the through the garden and say, you know what, guys? We need reusable stadium concessions and we need a leader. And they would jump. But is Liz little Miss Miss Chris over here, little Miss Idiot, embarrassment to every kid that actually wants environmental solutions implemented. Is she going to do it? No, because she has no quality. Quality people call you when they say they're going to. Quality people don't tell you when you're hanging up the call. Yeah, yeah, call tomorrow. She could have easily just said, you know what? No, I I'm, I'm not interested. Like, no, no, this is the end of it. I've got things to do. Good luck, lady. No, no, she's she's making up these little stories, trying to, you know, make herself feel better about being an absolute fraud. She is an embarrassment. <laughs> there is no other word for it. Fraud and embarrassment. <laughs> and you know what's funny? This article right here, <laughs> okay, literally, this article has... And this is the ad that was like running when her video played, okay, with her interview. Oh, lion. <laughs> right, right there in front of you. We are presenting to you another liar, another fraudulent environmental activist. Oh, my God, the youth have it. The past generations, I can't believe they've let it get this far. And this girl's letting it go even further because she's so, so interested in being an activist. She's not a hero. She is a complete fool and a fraud who is preventing the light year's best environmental education and agenda the world needs. And now, now don't think that I didn't let uh, News 10 know about that today. Uh, yeah, News 10, they, they, they pretty much, I, I left, um, well, they're, they're 
public, you know, contact page, there actually is a phone number for the president and general manager, um, Chris Weiland. So it took me two messages to say enough to him about how much he needs to make a correction to this absolute piece of propaganda that this little fool, you know, who has proven herself to be a fraud and the people need to know it and the people at TD Garden need to boo her. <laughs> she needs to stand there and take it. Now that's parenting, except this snowflake, she, she'd be out in La La Land for, I don't know, the next decade or two, absolutely distraught because she honestly is so stupid. She thinks this Mickey Mouse ridiculousness, this absolutely nothing that she's doing, and all of these fool organizations, the Sunrise Movement, Sunset, I call them, they're like, time's running out, I'm like, right, and it's setting because you won't allow solutions, and she's like, those are my friends, I'm like, well, you need some new friends, but um, this fool here isn't going to get any new friends, and I don't know, maybe if she did, maybe daddy wouldn't like her, daddy. Daddy, he was being a protective thing this morning. It was really pretty ridiculous. Because you know what the man should have said? He should have said, well, what should we be doing? Like, what, what is this about? No, no. He was very defensive, like, to, why are you even bothering us? And, and he was... He, he was just, he, he was just not nice, you know, he, he was just not nice, but he should have said, well, what could she be doing? Like, how much better could she be doing? What could she lead the world with? No, no. What did he do? Oh, that's right. Um, he hung up on me. Yeah, when she didn't call this little snowflake, what a absolute embarrassment to the world. And to every youth that actually wants solutions. This girl just got a springboard. She just got a springboard. She could put it to good use. She could say to the Earthshot Prize, I can't believe what you're not doing, what you've prevented. No, no. She's all impressed that they chose her. Let me tell you, to get chosen for this, okay, you have to be in like some politically correct circles to like get nominated and they're like oh my god Ollie she's like one of the best youth communists we have out there oh my god she's on Oasis crazy agenda you know that's that's how she got this I don't know who recommended her but let me tell you that is the qualifications okay that is how she got it and she is a fraud. She could use her platform to do so much good. She could get the Royals to actually achieve, okay, the Mickey Mouse ridiculous things that the Royals are embarking on when the environmental educator, <laughs> the environmental educator would, would cover every single category. And the environmental educator, it's it's the big global overview, okay? If you implemented the environmental educator, education and agenda, you would do massive good across the world and take out and, you know, put, steer the ship back in the right direction of living responsibly. And it would like get things on track and eliminate, you know, when you're in surgery, you stop the bleeding. It would eliminate toxins, the use of natural resources, the, the, you know, the emissions of everything. It would across the board. And no, we're Mickey Mousing around with, you know, somebody taking a thousand tons out a year and a ridiculous a thousand tons of carbon dioxide out a year and a huge manufacturing process. When I would, I would, this was last night's video, I would prevent gazillions more every single minute just from being emitted okay but the earthshot prize won't work at that level they mickey mouse around and they mickey mouse around with complete fools like her and she just proved herself an absolute complete fool and a global fraud she is not interested in solutions she's interested in being an activist and as i told her activists are idiots
they have no solutions. And then when you give them solutions, they're uninterested. And this girl needs to stand out on center court in the TD Garden and get booed by the crowd and go away and shut up. And then the TD Garden needs to actually lead. And is that going to happen? <laughs> Not until I get my global break. But, but if it doesn't, we're going to be listening to her scream like Gore's done for decades and decades. And she's so stupid, she's going to honestly think she's doing good when she can't realize that her and all her friends are just doing the exact same huge negative productivity that all environmental voices have done for decades. So this is um, the Earth won't give a sh the um, won't give Earth a shot prize. Um, the this is not a hero amongst us, but this is their politically correct new world order choice. She she could like maybe she's going to school with Charles Schwab. Who knows? Who knows? It's uh, Klaus Schwab, Klaus, with his Young Leaders program. She's definitely, she's definitely, the, this, this, uh, these headings here are definitely an absolute communist. <laughs> AOC, Oasis Crazy, just ridiculousness, will never do any good agenda. But um, she's out there thinking she is well she's not really thinking she is right now and but she's delusional so she'll she'll <laughs> she'll go out she's gonna go out and she's gonna continue to like do press and she's gonna go out with her friends and she's gonna honestly think she's doing good while she's endlessly screaming that we need solutions we need solutions and not recognizing that she refused when she had the springboard to do it. So stay tuned, people.